Speaking of tech gadgets, Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer recently set off a fierce debate when she ordered workers at the company to stop working from home. And just a few days ago, electronics retailer Best Buy decided also to end a similar program. Despite these recent changes, many telecommuters, uh, telecommuters say they cannot imagine life without it. Mark New. Helmet. Balancing responsibilities. Bye. Every day, Lars drives Leo and Lily to school. Wife Brenda is a professor, so regularly heads to college. So a few minutes later, Lars comes back home to the place he works. The car trip went okay. It was a, a typical morning. So I feel my productivity overall is higher, as is the quality of my work. And in terms of like stress with balancing, balancing work and family life, I feel like the, the, the balance is much more manageable. Plantronics, the world's leader in Bluetooth headsets, is a 45-minute drive away in Santa Cruz. A little more than a year ago, it underwent a renovation physically and philosophically. It's called the Smarter Working Environment, with meeting rooms of all different styles, designed to reflect tranquility, flexibility, and stress reduction. No assigned desks and telecommuting for at least half the employees. If this is something that keeps them happy and productive and engaged, then I'm going to do what I can as their manager to make that happen. But the policies in the organization need to be able to support that. Plantronics also just surveyed its employees to gauge how they felt about the smarter working environment. 85% of respondents said it had been positive for both the culture and productivity. The HR director who headed that survey also plans to telecommute herself as she heads across the country to help out her elderly father. I am so thankful that I work in a company that will allow me to be able to connect 3,000 miles away while still be able to take him to a doctor's appointment or help him. Stanford professor Donald John Roberts conducted one of the first scientific experiments on telecommuting, studying call center workers at Chinese travel agency Ctrip. He found telecommuters produced 13% more and had a quitting rate of less than half those who worked at the center. You've got to have people who are able to focus on their job and do it. And that either comes from being very highly motivated or controlled. Robert says in the past decade in the U.S., telecommuting has grown by nearly 40%. Mark New, CCTV, Santa Cruz, California.